In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite Madden games that I've watched all year, and it's going to be Spamming Buttons versus Henry in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now really quick before we go anywhere too far in depth, I want to talk with you a little bit about my true fan membership or what it would mean for you to become a true fan of my channel. This is the best thing that you can do as a supporter of my channel and basically what it is, is it's a product that I just launched. It's $5 a month and what we do is we try to take you as deep into Madden 21 or Madden 22 as we possibly can. So we take you deep inside the minds of pro players, what they're doing, why they're doing it, what you can learn from it, and how to counter it. So we've actually broken down, a, we have a one hour breakdown right now of Drini and his Madden Classic run, specifically focusing in on his offense. This video is kind of meant to be a little bit of a sample of what we're gonna be doing, as I'm gonna be breaking down Spam and Buttons and Henry, two of my favorite players in the Madden community to study and learn from. The other thing that we provide for you with this membership is every single week we do one of those where we dive deep into a pro player scheme and actually really break it down step by step. The other thing that we do is we dive deep into the meta of the offensive and the defensive side of the ball. So we really explain why the meta is the meta, how to counter it, and the latest developments within that. And we break that down for offense and defense every single week. So every week you're gonna be able to get access to three exclusive videos that are not gonna be posted anywhere except for, for our members. So if you wanna become a true fan, there's a link in the description that you can click and you can get that signed up for that in just for just five bucks. There's also a, a, a messaging platform in there where you can directly message me, ask me any questions, talk with me anytime. But let's get into this breakdown a little bit. What you're gonna notice is that both players um, are actually running the same defense, but they're running them a little bit differently. Spam and Buttons is running the 335 wide, but one of the things you're gonna notice is this right here. He's only blitzing two people pretty much every play. Henry is running the bunch tight end, and I believe he's in the uh, New York Jets playbook. He might be in Seattle, but I'm pretty sure he's in New York. Um, but if you watch, spam buttons is probably, is very rarely gonna blitz. You see here, blitzing two every single time. And then I wanna talk just briefly about his user. Spam and Buttons kind of saw his role in this game, especially as a user defender, with the responsibility to user the deep middle of the field. So if there was ever a post route on the play, that's where Spam and Buttons was gonna go guard. Um, other than that, his big thing was he wanted to stop motion slants and little crossers and little, little routes like that. So you see a lot of three rec hook zones. You see a lot of 10 yard uh, curl flats. Now really quickly, I wanted to also talk about Spam and Buttons zone drops. What he does, is he uses his flats on 30, his curl flats are on 10, and his hook curls are on five. You'll see here this defense from Henry, if you notice, this is his base defense. One of the things that Spam and Buttons is doing is he's in the New England Patriots playbook, and he's running the 45 quick base. Uh, and one of the things that Henry's doing is he's kind of trying to finagle where he's gonna stand to stop it. You see right here, that stance does not stop quick base. Now, after this game, Henry actually dove into the lab a little bit and learned how to stop this run. But what he wants to do is, you'll see, if he stands over here, that's gonna help stop the quick base. But the other thing you're gonna see is Henry's gonna blitz a little bit more than Spam and Buttons does, as you see they're sending the pressure. Now, this is a defensive masterpiece. Both players play out of their mind on the defensive side of the ball. They make it very tough on each other to move the ball well. And I was actually so impressed with spam and buttons in this game. Henry's offense is one of the best offenses in the entire community. And spam and buttons, for the most part, was able to shut him down with very simple adjustments and very simple coverage schemes. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, sometimes the most simple adjustments really can make a big difference. So you see here, he does have curl flat corner, so I think he's in Seattle. Um, he might even be in run head. No, I think he's in Seattle. 
But if you watch here, you're going to see this main coverage almost all the time. And watch this corner. Watch this. Um, watch that. You see that route right there? This time he shifted to a little bit of a zone look. He still had some man coverage on the field, but he did shift to that zone look right there and made a really good uh, adjustment. Now, the other thing I want you to watch is this tight end delay fade. I want you to watch how Spam and Buttons is going to defend this and really defend uh, probably one of the most important routes within the uh, with, within the bunch tight end. Uh, on the second and 20, now watch right here. You see this adjustment, spreading the line, kind of usering right in here. He might send the dogs on this play. Uh, nope, still only blitzing two. Man up there, nice little route and perfect defense right there you're starting to notice that this defense that spam and buttons is playing is absolutely amazing that was simply a cover two man with uh, the both of the safeties being on flat zones so he put both of the safeties on uh, curl flat zones and then he shaded down and shaded up and what that did was it created a 30 yard flat zone that's going to take care of crossing routes and corner routes and all that stuff if it beats man to man coverage and then all he has to do is use her kind of in this little area of the field here you're going to see third and 17. Probably should only see a blitz two. It does appear that he might be in some man coverage. I want you to watch this tight end. He shifts back to zone in this example right here. He has a little bit of a hybrid coverage right there. But essentially you're seeing a lot of this other. The other thing that you're noticing from this, if you're, if you're really watching, is that Spam and Buttons is doing a really good job of basically playing man coverage to uh, man coverage to the bunch side and then uh, zone coverage to the tight end side. So he's not letting the delay fade glitch out his man coverage as much because he's using zone principles to be able to stop it. That 10 yard vertical hook that he's putting is doing a really, really nice job. Now back to Henry on the defensive side of the ball. Henry will sit in Mike Blitz three the majority of the game and he will just adjust like crazy out of it. You see this right here, this is really the power. If you see someone running trips tight end, this is the best way to stop it as far as a run play. What you want to do is you want to shift your defensive line to the left. You want to put your user kind of over the backside guard. And then you want to crash your defensive line toward the running back. And ideally, if you actually put your user in a spy, it sometimes helps it a little bit better, especially against quick base. Here you're going to see a little simple route combo. Nice little flat route from spam and buttons, able to get upfield for about 11 yards. And yards are going to be hard to come by in this game. This is literally one of my favorite games to study when it comes to defending. If you want to learn how to defend trips tight end, and if you want to learn how to defend gun bunch, or uh, I'm sorry, gun bunch tight end, this is the best game to watch. Henry is one of the best defensive minds going to be. So right here, see this? Now he's going to be able to shoot and did a decent job. Now, the biggest adjustment that Henry did not make is he had the right setup right there, but if he would have put his user on a quarterback spy, would have done a lot better of a job um, at, at, at basically doing that. And, and also, on defense, you can use L2 to strafe. If you strafe... As you're kind of going in there, it's going to basically force that guard to kind of glitch out. It's going to leave a wide open gap for you to be able to come through. So that's a little bit of an advanced uh, tip on how to stop this. This is probably Spam and Button's best play right here. This is PA counter go with a delay fade. He's got this nice little flat route to pull zones. And then right here, as you can see, rolling out. Now he has the crosser right there. But this was a big deal. Um, if you've struggled completing crossing routes, biggest thing that you can do is you click on the receiver and you want to swerve up and to the outside, not just go to the outside. And then right here, Henry just suffocating defense right there. Great user. Uh, just didn't really honestly like that play call from spamming. Uh, he ran curl flat with a, with a drag and then an angle route. And there was just so much action over the middle of the field. I felt like that was very risky, especially because he was running with his trips to the short side of the field. Now, right here, great punt. And take a look at this clock. We've got about three minutes left in the half. Um, and so, again, you see the, the def just the defensive mastermind. So I want you to really watch on this next drive. I want you to watch what Spam and Buttons is doing to the, to, the, uh, to the bunch side now. If you watch his adjustments to the bunch side, one of the plays that Henry likes is this X spot concept um, using this crossing route. Using uh, I think he's going to use some double moves and stuff like that. Right here, he might use that. This is more of a trips tight end look, honestly. But he actually motions out the corner, and you see man coverage with that deep flat, and then this yellow right here. He does have this running back. This was the thing that really I thought was very interesting. Uh, hit, Span the buttons never bl very rarely blitzes. I think he literally blitzes maybe twice in this entire game, and um, Henry was able to get some route bounces against man coverage. It's 
honestly why I think it might have been a little better of an approach to run a little bit more zone coverage just because of the route bounces that Henry was able to get. Right here, you see Henry going to PA boot over, but he's using some different adjustments. Watch this, watch this route combo. Corner route, slant route, and that's where the pressure right there. That's the first time he's blitzed all game long. And and, and here's the thing. What spam and butt is uh, spam and buttons starting to notice was he started to notice that Henry was uh, sending his running back out. He was he was sending five out. He wasn't blocking uh, with a with a running back or a tight end. wasn't using a delay fade really at all. And so spam buttons just kind of snuck one blitz in, and then you'll see he probably won't blitz for the remainder of the half, maybe even the remainder of the game. Um, he he does not send a lot of pressure in the way that he's gonna he's gonna uh, deal with stuff. So anyways, if you watch right here. You're going to see uh, second and 20 now. He's going to actually go to the same concept. Watch this tight end. It's the exact same. There should be no blitz, though. Only three-man rush. Man coverage with a deep inside third. Great adjustment on that post. And then, as you see here, coming back across, and Henry ends up getting a route bounce. So three of six, 45 yards throughout the first half. Pretty good uh, job by Spam Buzz. Really, he's only completed uh, two routes. Um and they've both been like really, really route bounce type things. Um, here you're going to see PA boot over. I haven't seen the delay fade, kind of the traditional way of running this. Uh, Henry's going to go ahead and take this down to the two minute warning. And you're going to see again, if you just watch this right side and how he's going to defend this. Really interesting um, if you really dive into this. So uh, you're going to see motion cross or motion post. This was the play that he could have had a touchdown. Man, man, that inside third, he gets over him, but usered, usered really, really well. And um, and, and Henry, Henry ends up making a bad throw with Favre. And this is actually a really good decision, I felt like, by Henry. Um, he's kind of in a bad spot, but he's really playing great defensively. And he knows that spamming buttons also was playing really good defensively. So Henry decides, I'm going to try to pin him deep, gets him down to the 11-yard line and is going to end up playing some more defense on him. I felt like that was a really good decision by Henry. Anyways, you're going to see right here. See how he's moving these guys a little wider? Um, and you see right there, um, because he's not spying his user, because his user's on a blitz, spin button's point guard is automatically targeting uh, targeting him on this, on this play. You'll see again, targets him easily. And right here, this is huge. So spam buttons gets a nice run from Kamara and gets up into scoring range. Now, this is probably, honestly, his biggest mistake of the game, uh, what you're about to see. So you're in a defensive stalemate. Henry can't move. Henry, Sam Buttons playing so good defensively. He's stopping everything that Henry wants to do. As you see here, he's starting to pop this base. Um, the base is starting to pop for Spam and Buttons. Henry can't move on offense. Unless he gets a lucky route bounce, he hasn't been able to move all game. So... Spamming goes to inside zone here, which is a nice little mix-up. But you see this clock. He's got three timeouts in 50 seconds. Um, Henry is trying to get a goal line stand right here. Now, this is where I just feel like Spamming relies a little bit too much on, um, on this base run. Now, it's, it's the right call to go to base right here based on the defense. But what I would have liked to seen him do is I would have liked to see, and I don't know if he did it here. I don't think he did. I want to see him sub tight ends in at receiver so that he can audible from the base down into the goal line set. Um, I think that would have been a little bit better. You're going to see here he's setting up this ace slot. I really don't think this was the right move. And you see he's even going back to it. And, and here just kind of not not really, you know, kind of setting some stuff up. Just not sure uh, really what he's doing. He plays on conservative. I also feel like that was an interesting decision. You're on the one-yard line. Um, he's just going to come out and straight up goal line. I don't like this. Uh, if he goes QB sneak here, I don't think QB sneak was a good call. Um, there's been some, looks like Vos I think, had recommended that to him. And I just feel like there's a bad recommendation just because fullback dive is so hard to stop. Uh, power row is so hard to stop on the one-yard line. Even quick base is hard to stop. And so right here, he's going to go uh, back to quick base. And, I mean, he's so close to getting this. But biggest mistake of the game. He doesn't take a field goal. You're in a defensive battle. Now, Henry does get the ball coming out of half, and you see the debating. Doesn't, 
I would have come out and at least looked at it, and I just think he should have taken a field goal to keep him up by one possession because if he doesn't get, doesn't get this, which he ends up not getting this, Henry makes a huge stand, it's absolutely, absolutely problematic. So you see right here, and quick base I feel like doesn't work as good on the goal line as it does inside the five, but you'll see motions over Shockey, and boom, shot in the backfield, and Henry stops it. So absolutely huge. We're going into halftime here, and I'm just going to advance this a little bit within this gameplay, but huge, huge, huge stop. So we're still 0-0, zero to zero, and now spamming buttons is still on defense. Now we should be 3-0. to zero. Should be 3-0. to zero. But anyway, I want you to watch. Now watch this adjustment right here. You're going to see this out and up. Watch this. This was where Henry kind of caught him. And spam and buttons run a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Now he's shading over the top most of the time. One of the things that makes bunch tight ends so good is the fact that you can motion out an out and up route on either side. You can put an out and up route to this guy and you can motion him over here. You can also put it on this guy and you can motion it over here. And so if you watch here, I think he's gonna do it on this third and inches play. Watch this right here. You see Bruce is on an out and up. Now watch how this is gonna work. Out, up, roast the man coverage over the top, spam button sees it too late, over the top, absolute laser, and it's a touchdown. Now remember, it should be seven to three right now. Um, if, if spam buttons plays conservative, it's it, it, it should be seven to three. So Henry's still up by one possession, but it's a lot different of a ball game if it's seven to three. But now it's zero to seven, absolutely detrimental situation. And so now all the momentum just swung to Henry. He got a huge stop going into halftime. He got a big uh, a big dot over the top. Spam Buzz has been playing a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. I'm surprised, honestly, that Henry didn't go to that a little bit sooner. I think he had tried a few times. But right there, if you're spamming buttons, I just I don't I just feel like you've got to be on that left side. You've got to be watching that bunch side because that's the thing that can kill you is an out and up. You got to know, and I'm sure he knew that. Uh, but anyway, it goes to PA counter go here on the run, and he does have the crosser, but he just can't get the best blocking. One of the things that, um, if you watch Henry, he's manually moving these guys outside. This helps a lot with the contain. Uh, so you see here, he's containing. See how see how he can't get outside? That that's huge. Henry is really doing a good job of containing the rollout of spam and buttons, and it's such a simple little adjustment, right? Most of us wouldn't do what he's doing though. Wouldn't move this guy out and then have the opportunity to be able to shoot. Very good lab work by Henry knowing if I can get this guy a little wider and I can get this guy a little wider, see he's spreading his linebackers, then I can contain off of this. So now it's harder to roll out. And then as you can see right here, now he does hit the delay fade. Really good read by Span Button. Span Button is a beast, man. This guy is a phenomenal player. Probably, honestly, Heading into Madden 22, as we close Madden 21, Spam and Buttons probably is at least one of the top five players in the game right now. Really, really, really good on both sides of the ball. This little motion over, to tr he's trying to basically do that, and that's actually a good adjustment by Spam and Buttons right there. He starts to see that this motion over, uh, if he motions over this guy, 81, then it helps a lot with this potential cutback. So we'll see if he continues to go to it. See here, he just kind of goes to base again. And honestly, I think he got a little screwed there. If he would have like stopped and go or did a couple of little things right there, that could have been a little bit of a bigger run. But now again, ball on the 40 yard line. Remember, seven to three. If he if he takes this field goal, seven to three. So let's just watch how this kind of plays out. There, it gets a nice shed. Now you're in field goal range right here. Okay, you're in field goal range right here. Now, Spam is going to take his field goal. So what it should be is it should be 7 to 6. But now it's going to be 7 to 3 uh, off of that. So now you're going to see Henry's going to go back on the on the field. And this is really where Henry, I think, just honestly just does a good job. Um, he's got a one possession lead. His defense has played phenomenal up to this point. You see here he's got that out and up on the field. And look right here. Spam is all over it this time. Would have liked to, if Spam and Buttons knew about the out and up. He knew about it before Henry threw it the first time. Henry just did a good job of catching him, pulled his user over in this area, and threw the out and up over in this area. Because this, this, um, if you if you use inside switch or PA boot over, you can use a little motion over. Now you see that he starts to go to this motioned over inside zone. Real quick, if you're running bunch tight end, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is if you're going to run an inside zone, 
motion 80 motion number 80 out of the way um henry does see that right there that little motion that's huge very subtle very subtle little thing but it helps the blocking so much and henry is honestly thinking if he can go down and get three i think henry literally thinks he wins this game henry is so confident in his defense in the way that his defense has been playing up to this point that he's okay with only scoring seven points. He's okay with it being a seven to three ball game. Here you see there's that motion over out and up. Now watch, watch spam his buttons user. Watch, 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 watch. See how he gets over there on that? That's that's what he should have done on the touchdown. That's the defense that he tried to run, that he wanted to run, that he labbed to run, and he just honestly, he just didn't do it. You know, he just didn't execute. It came down to one mistake. It literally came down. This game literally came down to like one or two mistakes. One of the best Madden games I've ever seen. Watch this defense. Watch it again. You'll see here now he's going to go audible back and inside zone. Spamman does a good job of shooting this. But this is where Pavin literally says in the chat, you'll hear over here him, he says Henry is going to keep hot routing and then he's going to audible back to a run. Henry is in milk mode. He's just trying to get three points and he's just trying to take as much clock as he can. So if you watch this again, here, auto, hot routing, and then he's going to audible back, reset the resets everything, and then as you can see, wide open lane, boom, MJD to the house, and that is going to pretty much seal the game, honestly, because he's a two, he's in a two possession um, he's in a two possession set scenario. If this is fourteen to six, number one, I think Henry plays a little differently on offense, and number two, spam and buttons. If he just puts one drive together, he go down he goes down and ties it problem is now he has to go down and score two times so i think really a couple of mistakes the first one was giving up the out and up touchdown the second mistake and very close to that was not was choosing not to um cho choosing not to go uh choosing not to take your three right and then now you see that henry can play a little bit different defensively it's interesting how when you watch some of these games, because these players are so good, one or two mistakes can literally cost them the entire game. You can play perfect 98% of the game, but one or two mistakes can just absolutely crush you. And that's what happened in this game. That's what happened for Henry. And unfortunately, Spam and Buttons wasn't able to come out on top with this. But I still believe he's one of the best players in the community. Uh, obviously, you guys been following my channel at all you know i have a ton of respect for um i have a ton of respect for henry what he's been able to do in such a short time he's one of the best if not the best up and coming player these two guys right here i can see and them combined with the vos vos is a really good player as well um those three guys are probably one of the most up and coming potential uh, belt winners next year. We'll see how they all do or potential just competitors. They're really, really, really good players. So I would keep an eye out for these guys. Spam and buttons is definitely not going anywhere. I mean, he has really come on strong here at the end of the season with just some great routes, great combos, and just great execution. You see right here, he's got that crosser over the top. That's like his money play. And I felt like Henry honestly made a play a little bit poor defense on this drive. He gave the big play to, to, to spam in. I feel like you got to make him work up and down the field a little bit more than he did. Henry, I don't know what he was thinking uh, defensively on this. I just felt like he shouldn't have played so aggressive. I think he played a little too aggressive. And it allowed Spammon to get down into this area. But then you'll see right here that on this, I think it's this play, he rolls out. He's playmakers up. Henry does a great click on. And Spamman is going to throw an interception. So good game to Henry. Good game to Spam. These guys are incredible. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this, we post one of these every single week in a little bit in a lot more detail. Um, so this video is probably about 20, 25 minutes. The videos that we posted in our true fan membership were uh, one hour on one side of the ball. So we go really in detail on these pro players, break down exactly what you're seeing, why they're doing it, how you could have countered it, how their competitors could have countered it, and in our true fan membership. Our true fan membership is for the people of my community <coughs> that want to get better, want to do everything they can to get better, including studying the best, learning from the best, and then also learning how to counter what the best in the world are doing on both sides of the ball. So every single week you get a meta update for offense, a meta update for defense, 
and you also get a pro player film breakdown. You get all of this great material for just $5 a month. It helps support the channel a ton and enables me to keep doing what I do here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for your support. And if you want to get access to that true fan membership, you can get access to that in the description for just five bucks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys next time.